Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Maurice Cole Red Dingo, part of the Maurice Cole Dingo family, the Red Dingo, Dirty Dingo, and the Black Dingo. This is a board that Maurice developed for himself over the past year, surfing breaks like uh, Bells Beach and Trestles, where you've got a competitive lineup, and Maurice, not being 25 years old, wanted to have a competitive board to help him get his wave count up, but not sacrifice the performance in his surfing. So he started developing these uh, mid-length sizes anywhere from 6'8 all the way up to 9'0 uh, to get more waves, but also to not give up performance when he's surfing the wave. And the Red Dingo is the board that he developed and uh, perfected and now is releasing to the public. This board that we have right here, this is a 7'2". Uh, dimensions on it are 7'2", a little bit over 22 inches wide and three inches thick. And you can see also that the board does have a concave bottom, the full length of the board. And that's the big thing with this board, I think, that differentiates this board from a lot of other boards in this size range. Is a lot of other boards in this size range, if you think about, you know, mid sevens, eights, they're typically called fun boards. And they're made uh, primarily, or they're designed primarily around the durability of the board rather than the performance of the board. Where this board is designed primarily around performance and about going fast and turning really hard. Uh, two of the things that Maurice really likes doing. I've been surfing this board uh, since November, so that's a solid four months. And you can see the, uh, the wax definitely shows it. Definitely looking uh, a little bit grunty on the deck. But uh, a great board. Uh, came back from Nicaragua in November and just absolutely nothing left in the tank. The gas tank was absolutely empty coming back from that trip. So. Coming back from a trip like that in board shorts to here in a five mil with boots and gloves, just didn't even want to feel tired and didn't want to feel like the five mil suit at all. So went from a, like a standard shortboard straight to this and uh, was basically levitating through the middle of the lineup and uh, made it super easy to make that transition. But also uh, the performance was still there. So whether it be having surfed this board in a ton of different conditions, anywhere from overhead like peaky beach break to uh, we actually had some really fun days on the south side uh, behind Billy Mitchell Airport that were you know breaking on the outside to then almost unbreaking gone and then reforming and then just racetrack barrels on the inside. This thing is a good combination of paddle power and being able to get into those softer waves. Uh, but then also when it gets on a, on a more hollow steep pitching wave, it still holds its edge really well and can, and can get you that tube time when, you, when the opportunity presents itself. So, what does this board do that does you know differently than other boards is I, I just say it's the it's the performance you know the the speed of this board is really good the maneuverability of the board is is really good and looking at the fin cluster is something else to take a close look at uh, primarily I think that this board worked best as a quad overall like if you're going to pick one or the other I liked it a little bit better as a quad, and, and I say that just because on the steeper waves it just held in a lot. It had a lot more positive feel in steeper waves uh, and got you into the wave with more control and allowed you to position better, and it was also faster. But with the tri-fin, if, if you have a flatter-faced wave, this board, when you look at the, the fin cluster, and what I mean is the, the, where the boxes are positioned, you can tell that Maurice specifically with these fins on this board, he's made the cluster tight together. So whenever you take a fin cluster and elongate it, meaning like taking this back box and moving it back or the front fins forward, so more distance between the fins, it makes the board better at long drawn out turns, but it can feel a little bit stiff in snappy turns. And whenever you move the cluster tighter, it makes the board uh, more maneuverable and, and more snappy turns. And so immediately when I went to the thruster, what I noticed is that the, the board became a lot looser, especially in, in those flatter faced waves where the control isn't really an issue. You just want to be, you want to be maneuvering a lot more and crossing back over your own line a lot more. And so in those type of conditions, I liked it better as a thruster. And then in the steeper uh, barreling waves, like the more kind of pitchy beach break that this place is known for, I liked it better as a, uh, as a quad. But interestingly, when you, look at, when you look at the cluster, the cluster is pretty tight, specifically the thruster. The quads are about normal, but that thruster cluster is, thruster cluster, thruster cluster, is pretty tight. So it's a, cool, uh, it's a cool experiment. The fins that I used, 
on this board, I used a few different sets. Uh, I used the F8 black sticks. I used the Roberts Generation, uh, the large size. And then I also used uh, the Rusty uh, five pin set as well. And that was a large as well. This board does not have that super hard edge that, uh, that Maurice puts on a lot of his boards. It has a standard hard edge up to about here where my fingers are, right where, my, right where this index finger is here. And then forward of that, it just has a normal shortboard rail all the way to the front. And so that gives you the speed off the back, but it gives you a little bit more forgiveness on, on the front of the board, especially since on this board, there, there is a pretty elongated sweet spot and you can stand in different areas on the board. So having that softer edge up front, it's just gonna make the board a little bit more forgiving. And because of that, when we did like the Maurice Cole Metro review or the Proto review, uh, we said with that hard edge the whole way through, you want to size down your fins because that hard edge is doing a lot of the fin work for you. This, this board you'll just ride like your normal fin size that you would use. So this Robert fin is one of my, one of my favorite fins in the future lineup. So this was my go-to fin and, uh, and I use this fin quite a bit on this board and in the quad setup it worked great on it. And then again, also that rusty fin uh, worked really well also for the, for the range um, of this board. Another thing that Maurice spends a lot of time on is uh, the construction of the board. He does a lot of work with uh, Apple Core stringers, uh, putting like multiply stringers in the board and then just doing some detail work too. Not all of them are coming this way, but a lot of them will come like with either a, a red colored center stringer in it. Uh, just to jazz up the, the red dingo aura around the, uh, around the board. So five fin uh, definitely has its benefits, uh, thruster and quad, just depending on what the waves are like when you're home. A lot of demand, uh, it seems like a, lot of, like a lot of pent up demand for a board like this. And I think the reason is, is that Maurice uh, did a, t obviously he you know, blew up onto the international market with Tom Curran, uh, making Tom Curran uh, boards when Tom was on the world tour and then when he just went on the, just the bender in Hawaii and in France as well. Uh, and a lot of people that knew Maurice from back then are riding bigger, you know, more foamed out boards. But a lot of the other boards in Maurice's lineup were, you know, super small boards or, or more gunny boards. This board kind of hits a sweet spot with his, uh, with the people that are following Maurice and knew him from his original kind of blast onto the scene. And, uh, Prior to even getting these in, we've already sold three of them, like a 6.8, a 7.0, and a 7.2, uh, with calls behind that as well. So it seems like there's a lot of people interested uh, in the board. Great all-around board. You can use it for small waves. Uh, you can use it for those bigger days, like where the outside, where it starts breaking a little bit further out. And it just gives you a nice competitive advantage, like in a crowded lineup, to be able to sit just a little bit further out and, and, and pick off set waves and, and then have good control and good maneuverability on them as well. So it's the Maurice Call Red Dingo. Uh, again, this one's a 7.2, uh, a little bit over 22 wide and three inches thick. Available 6.8 up to 9.0. Any other questions, you can always reach us at the shop, 252-987-6000, or check it out online on our website, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.